Well, here's the moment of truth. Will it work? Oh, freak! Man, it flies! Well, sorry guys for the super cheese uh, intro, but uh, yeah, pretty excited about this project. Uh, my daughter originally uh, saw this at a thrift store and kind of was interested, so yeah, for 10 bucks I couldn't uh, help myself. So yeah, the original battery was a 6 volt, 4 amp hour lead acid battery and it went about 2 miles an hour, so I really just didn't like that performance and, you know, I had to mod it. So yeah, let me show you what I did. I took uh, one of these uh, 186 uh, 50 battery holders off of Amazon and I uh, wired it in series. So I have three 186 50 batteries wired in series and it comes out to be about 12.6 volts when they're fully charged. So it basically doubles the uh, voltage and therefore the motor goes twice as fast. So yeah, it's actually a very easy mod. Um, just took the existing battery leads and uh, soldered on these XT60 connectors so I could disconnect it. And then with 12 gauge wire, wired it up to this connector here. So let me just show you a little bit how that works. So I have the positive wire here. So it's positive, negative. These two ends are soldered together. So positive, negative, positive, negative. Then these two are soldered, positive, negative. And then the negative wire comes out the back. That's how series works. So yeah, um, this... These, these uh, 18650 lithium-ion batteries I got from a used laptop uh, battery. Just dismantled it and took the batteries out. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the project. It uh, goes pretty quick. I'd say from 2 miles an hour up to about 6 miles an hour now. Not only does it go faster, but it actually allows it to go up hills and through grass. So, yeah, super fun little project. Um, I already had the batteries laying around, so it was basically free. I just had to buy that uh, holder and a couple of wires or a couple of connectors for the wires. So I'll link the parts in the description below. Let me, guys, let me know if you guys have any uh, questions about this or any comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, yeah, I'll show you it again. The other thing just to mention before I end here, I have not noticed um, any wear or tear on the gears. Um, just because it's such a small little quad, I don't think um, I don't think it's going to have any problems with the gear stripping running at this voltage. So I would totally recommend doing this if uh, your kid was uh, wanting to have a little bit more fun. If you have one of these laying around with a dead battery, just go ahead and upgrade it. Anyway, have a great day, guys. See ya.